Last month, I started as a level one on a new account in GTA Online. And the only businesses I've bought on this account have come through spinning a wheel determining what business I should buy next. So today in this video, I will spin that wheel again to see what business I will buy next. So welcome to the 13th episode of season number two of Loser to Luxury. And without further ado, let's jump into it. So right now I am on the wheel of businesses and I'm on the wheel of businesses because the last thing that we bought came off the wheel of luxury and that was the hsw version of the arbiter gt and then the last business i bought was the acid lab but what is going to be the next business i am going to buy on this account and it's going to be is it going to be the office building or mc clubhouse it is going to be the office building so it looks like we're going to become a ceo all right so right now i am on the office map and these are the four offices that we can buy now when i decided how i was going to buy what facility i spun a wheel and the numbers corresponded to the facilities located going from south to north all of them are pretty much on the same latitude so instead what i'm going to do is i'm going to go from right to left if you're confused which is probably a little confusing this one the maze bank tower is going to be one since it's the furthest right on the map the arcadius business center is going to be number two then we're going to go all the way over here and the maze bank west is going to be number three and the lom bank west is going to be number four and now now I am on the wheel of one to four. So let's just see what office building I am going to have to buy. And it looks like it's going to be number four, which is going to be the furthest office building to the left, which is going to be the Long Bank West coming in at $3,100,000. Now, after I purchase this, there's not going to be a direct way within the office that you can really make money without getting other things. Once I buy the office building, I'll have the ability to then buy a special cargo warehouse warehouse and a vehicle cargo warehouse. So on the wheel of businesses, I'm going to add those two businesses, but the Long Bank West is going to cost us $3,100,000. And currently right now I have $103,000. So we have a long ways to go before we can purchase the Long Bank West office building. Okay. So now I'm on the wheel of quick cash. So let's just spin the wheel of quick cash and let's just see how we're going to start out this episode in order to make money. And we're actually not going to be making any money. We're going to be making a small new purchase we're going to buy a new weapon but it's going to be determined by the weapon class wheel so here is the wheel of weapon classes so let's just spin the wheel and whatever it lands on we have to buy a weapon from that weapon class and this is going to be absolutely garbage we have to buy a throwable weapon what throwable weapon do i not have okay well that was a dud all right so right now i am on the wheel of making money so what are we going to have to do in this episode in order to make money money and it looks like we are going to have to do three to five fulligans jobs so right now i am on the wheel of three to five and this is going to determine how many fulligans jobs i am going to have to do so let's just spin the wheel and how many fulligans jobs are we doing and it looks like we are going to be having to do four fulligans jobs this episode so we have to do four fulligans jobs but what else in this episode am i going to have to do in order to make money and it looks like we are going to have to do the last those missions. All right, so pretty much today is going to be pretty much a DAX episode. We're doing everything DAX. So I got to do four Fulligan's jobs, and then I have to do the last dose missions. But first, I have to go to ammunition and try to find myself a throwable weapon that I can actually purchase. All right, so I'm here at ammunition. What is going to be the throwable weapon that I can actually buy? Oh, I guess I can get tear gas. So worst comes to worst, I'll buy max out tear gas. I, okay, I do have grenades, so I'm not going to be buying a grenade. I bomb proximity mine sticky bomb i'm pretty sure i have a sticky bomb too fine okay um i'll get tear gas i'll max out tear gas all right there you go tear gas is maxed out you're welcome thank you wheel of quick cash that was awful okay so now this episode is going to be a lot different than the other episodes of this season because i'm going to be doing the two money making methods kind of both at the same time if that makes any sense and what i mean by that is like the full against jobs i can do a full against job and complete it then i have to wait another 48 minutes in order to start up another one and i want to max out my efficiency so i'm going to do one full against job now and then right after i'm going to jump into our first last dose mission all right so i called up dax you better give me a good one you know i won't be a coward and join another session i wish i didn't say that because i hate this one 
Nice. So we have right off right here. This is probably my second least favorite one. My least favorite one is crop dusting. And this one's just very difficult. And it's even more difficult when you're not an oppressor like how I usually am. I'm in a door door, which I mean, a door door is nice, but honestly, it's not even that good for this mission. They luckily provide you with a sparrow, but you have to go and get it, which is going to be two miles away. Yay me. Um, there's a guy welding on the side of this right here. You got an issue with me? I do have an issue with you. You're welding on this helicopter. I want to fly. So sit down and I'll just fly. You know, I didn't think this needed any welding anyways. I don't know what you're trying to weld on there, but it's okay. You can weld for the fun of welding and I'll just fly for actual reason. All right. Anyways, I have the sparrow now, clearly. So now I have to destroy Meriwether Transport and they're kind of all over the map, really. And I didn't feel like driving there with a Torador. I just feel like that would have been a little bit tedious. So I'm going to fly around in their sparrow that was provided to me. There we go. One transport down. We don't have to destroy every single transport. You have to destroy like three. And then Dax will tell you your next thing you have to do. So I guess let me go get two more of these transports. All right, another transport down. Let's go get another one. All right, there we go. Another Meriwether transport has been taken out. All right, then Dax is now telling me to go to Meriwether Depot. And this is where this mission gets really, really difficult. That first part is kind of more annoying. But now this is where it gets incredibly frustrating because it's incredibly hard. Okay, so now we have to eliminate the Meriwether operation. I've called in my Karuma right here. And these guys are pretty ruthless, all these Meriwether people. So pretty much what I am going to do is just try to take out as many Meriwether people as I can and destroy as much Meriwether operation as I can from inside of this Karuma. Oh yeah, then also reinforcements come. So now the reinforcements are on their way. Wait, what? I was too close for that? What? I look down at my phone and I look up and it says I've committed. Like, excuse me. I thought I was far enough away, but I guess not. All right, anyways, I have five more things to take out and um, there's a ton of people here and let the dying begin. All right, so I've thought about it a little more, actually. I said I wasn't going to cower it out of whichever one that they give me. I think from here on out, I think I won't do any duplicates. So this is going to be the last time I am going to be doing whatever this one is. I already forgot the name. All I know is that I hate this one. Just get it. There we go. I didn't want to take a chance. I just kamikaze straight into that thing. And we have one more thing to get. Okay, there we go. As I died, I got the final one. So now I can just get out of here. Dude, oh my God. I stole one of Meriwether's like vehicles and Meriwether. Oh my God. They don't. I've already lost two wheels, I think. Yeah, I've lost two wheels. Do they not have bulletproof tires? I was kind of under the assumption. I was like, all right, all right. It's Meriwether. You know, I steal one of their vehicles. We're going to have bulletproof wheels, but apparently not. That somehow escaped the budget, but yet they can just endlessly shoot endless amount of bullets at me. That's apparently in the budget. It ain't Interesting budgeting from Meriwether, but you know, no one's ever thought of that. All right, finally, mission passed. Jeez, I had to drive all the way out to Sandy Shores before I could escape the reinforcements with their vehicle that doesn't have bulletproof tires because apparently Meriwether's broke. But I have to wait 48 minutes to do my next full against jobs. But in the meantime, I am going to start up the Lastos missions. All right, here we go. We are starting up the Lastos mission number one. We're doing the mission. This is an intervention. And for some reason, um, what is this guy's name? again lab rat lab rat is holding a pineapple on his head Jeez, Dax, man. What are you doing? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Who are these guys taking the lab rat? Why do I care if lab rat's taken? Oh, apparently Dax doesn't care about lab rat either. He just wants to shoot a RPG at him. Hey, he's not a good shot, though, because he misses. Jeez, okay, nice. All right, so now we have to take out a bunch of people. And honestly, this is like a harder version of Series A funding heist. We're in the exact same location. There's just a ton of people during this mission. If I remember correctly, I think it's right around like 60-ish, maybe pushing 70 something like that i don't know dude all these people just to push to steal lab rat like i don't even want lab rat but i want money at least we get a first time bonus if it wasn't for the first time bonus i would not be doing this right now you can land your helicopter or i'll land it for you there you go i'm not talking too much because it's just a bunch of shooting at this point not really a whole lot of developments it's just me shoot pew 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 move forward shoot pew 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 you know you get the ordeal Wah, wah. I had pretty good health. Maybe not max, but pretty, pretty good. Wait, are they running away? Okay, nice. I think they're running away. Oh, okay, good. Okay, okay, okay. I completed it first attempt. Nice. Who is this lady? Who are you? Drama queen. I bet you listen to soft rock. I don't know how to respond to that, to be honest. Here. Stop. Tell me to stop. I will not stop. I will run you over. Hello, Dax. 
Dude, Dax, stop falling over. Dax! Oh my gosh, dude, you gotta stop falling over. Anyways, mission pass, there we go. Got $14,000 for that, but we get a first-time bonus of $100,000 for all five of the last of those missions. So there you go, as you can see, $100,000 has been added to my bank account. But we have to do four more of these last of those missions, so let's get into the next one. All right, we're jumping into the second last of those mission, Unusual Suspects. Now, I'm kind of excited to do this one because I actually get to really test drive this vehicle. The arbitrary gt that i got last episode my beautiful new hsw vehicle okay i'm not gonna lie this vehicle is actually pretty hard to drive i gotta get used to this then again i got used to the drift yosemite which that vehicle is so weird to drive jeez i feel like i'm just driving on ice right now oh i okay i didn't need a hood anyways the engine is pretty much sticking out of the vehicle oh hey how you doing all right, so now we have to go to the hippie leader boss person, whatever. And then there we go. That's pretty much all I have to do. And then we just have to go to another suspect, which is going to be a little bit further into the city. Jeez, I cannot drive this vehicle. I gotta I got get used to this. This does feel incredibly fast, but the control is just not here. It's just not. All right, so we made it to the next location. Same ordeal. We just have to take out a bunch of people. This time it's gonna be lost MC. All right, and then we have to go to this leader boss person or whatever, and I just walk away and i can get away with doing that all right so we're at the final location so all we have to do is once again just same ordeal just take out a bunch of people all right there we go all the hippies have been taken out so we have to go to the hippie leader all right so that hippie boss leader just told us that we need to go to elysian island so we're gonna go to elysian island and check out this last spot hopefully we can find a clue down there all right so we've made it to elysian island now we need to search for the warehouse and i think the warehouse is somewhere in here yeah always find that car or SUV right there. All right, so now we need to search for clues about lab rats, kidnappers, and here's a clue right here. Everyone's photoed except for me. Why am I not photoed? Like, I'm the brains. I'm the good looks behind everything, but I don't have a photo up there. There's so much real estate on this board, dude, to put a photo of me. Like, whoever this is, they're gonna really pay. I, I should be on that board. Yeah, pretty much. We have to photograph a bunch of different, like, clues and whatnot. All right, there we go. Everything has been photographed, and oh my god, oh, I did not hide in the right spot um i think my cover's been blown but pretty much all we have to do oh i forgot i have to collect the key card oops all right there we go i have the key card so now let's just get out of here oh my god dude there's multiple people hiding behind my car get your own car to hide behind and there we go mission pass let's move on to the next one all right we're jumping into the third last dose mission freed mind all right so we've made it to freed mind hq so let's head on in um you die and you die okay nice so we're supposed to do this stealthy but if we break our stealth then it's not the end of the world no no okay you're good okay we're still good we're still good oh wait how did you not notice you idiot don't think i've made it this far without breaking stealth okay here's a clue right here um yeah so let's grab this clipboard i have to search for keys okay so here's the keys that we needed to get so now we can just go downstairs to the basement all right one more enemy that i have to take out it's this person hey 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 you stop okay he's dead now all right now we get to talk to dax hey hello oh that's not dax oh my god i said dax i i don't care who you are i i really don't oh what the heck who's in there who didn't have the photo of me and it was you you isaiah friedlander does not have a photo of me on his little billboard but you have a photo of dax lucha and labra i was like wh why what i'm that guy they're not that guy i'm currently saving the world right now i guess you're not aware of that i've raided humane labs i broke someone out of prison but yet you have lucha dax and labra on the billboard like what what is this thought process oh oh okay this escalated a little quickly. Oh, lights are out. Oh, what the? What the? Oh, and he got away. First, he didn't have a photo of me on the billboard. And then you just squeezel your way out of this. Mm -mm. All right, so now all we have to do is just take Lucha and Labrat back to the freak shop. And this setup will be passed. All right, well, there we go. We're back at the freak shop. Dax, I keep saying Dax. It's not Dax. It's Labrat. Labrat's home, but I don't care. I'm going to run him over. I can't run him over. Oh, oh, I can't. Okay. I can't, I can't. Wait, wait, wait. Die. They didn't let me, like, fully run them over, but there we go. Mission passed. Um, we have two more last of those missions that we have to do, but I'm going to do my next fooligans job next. All right, so I'm going to call Dax right here, and let's do our next fooligans job. Can you please not give me the Meriwether one, please? Which one do we get? Liquid I... Oh, okay, this is a good one. This is actually a really good one, and we got the good location. We don't have to go to Polito Bay. Incredibly nice. Okay, so we've made it to this location. We've done this before in this series, too. This was the first fooligans job that we did where we could do whatever we want, but we just have to take out a bunch of dealers right now. 
now. All right, there you go. That was actually probably the smoothest I've ever taken out all the dealers in here. So now we just have to contaminate the water supply. All right, so that's contaminated. Now we just have to turn on the irrigation system. And then we just have to walk right through all the chemicals that we just put in to the water tank. And now we're seeing pretty colors. And now let's exit the grass farm. Okay, so now pretty much what I'm going to do is try to climb up somewhere. I don't know where to climb over here, though. I don't know where there's like a ladder or any place I can just climb up. Oh, here's some steps. Okay, nice. Oh, that's actually really nice. I can literally just chill out right here. And all the clowns literally just stay right there. I'm gonna throw one grenade right there. Oh my god, that was so satisfying. That was like, what, seven, like, clowns taken out right there? Just so beautiful. I'm just gonna chill out here and wait for this hallucination to end. So we're snapping back into it. And there we go. Full against job complete, another $50,000. So we have to wait another 48 minutes to do another full against job. But now let's jump into the last two last dose missions. Okay, so it's actually been 48 minutes since our last full against job. I had to go take care of something. But we can just jump straight into another full against job. So let's just do that. Right, which one are we doing? Uh, okay, no, no, no. We're not doing duplicates, even though that's fantastic. I actually got that. All right, which one? Would be? Stop, stop. You gotta stop giving me liquidized assets, even though it's like the easiest one. You gotta give me a little bit of variety. What is there, like five? There's like five different ones. You've been giving me the same one three times in a row. Okay, so we get heavy metal. All right, Um, this one is kind of like right in the middle, in my opinion. Like sometimes I've done this one without really having a second thought about it. And then there's other times where I absolutely screw up miserably. Um. Of course, a truck just had to be right there. Okay, fine, fine, fine. You want to mess with the little guy, huh? You want to mess with the little guy, huh? Oh, well, hold on. I went to get that one. Huh? Oh, wait, no, I did blow up. Okay, all right, all right, that truck blew up. Anyways, yeah, so pretty much we have to go to Stab City, so let me head all the way over there. Okay, so we finally made it over to Stab City. Um, I'm just gonna send some missiles their way, even though I already know what I'm doing, and it really has nothing to do with me sending missiles their way. But, you know, it's kind of fun. I have this Torador. Okay, so we need to go into this trailer and die. All right, let's try this again. Jeez, he was standing on top of this green chair, but it's okay. We barely survived, but we survived. Then we just need to take a picture of his bloody carcass. All right, now we have to go over here to the stolen goods. And then we have to drive right around four miles to deliver the stolen goods to the drop-off. Now, for some reason at this location, and pretty much this location only, I've sometimes had issues on keeping the health bar of the stolen goods intact. Like, I've had it where the enemies have just shot out this truck and all the stolen goods were just destroyed. And then I get paid nothing. So hopefully that's not the case today. All right, and there we go. We have made it to the drop-off location. Can I run over you? No, then no. Okay, see, these guys are far superior than Dax and Lucha and Labrat. Yeah, they're, they're so much more superior. They don't get knocked over when I run into them. And there we go, mission passed. And we have one more Fulligan's job to do. But before we do that, let's get into our final two last dose missions. All right, here we go. We're jumping into the fourth last dose mission, checking in. All right, and then Dax. Dax apparently wants me to follow him, which no, Dax drives so slow. I get so frustrated following Dax during this mission. So I just go on my own because they already tell me the location and I'll just beat him there. All right, so we've made it over to the rehab clinic and there's already some people here from the troop apparently, but we have to take out some of these people that work for Freelander. All right, there we go. Everyone's taken out. So let's go to the main entrance and let's see what's up. All right, Freelander. Why wasn't I photographed and put on the billboard? Oh, oh, okay. What? what what is this? What is this? Oh, okay. Well, it looks like we're tripping out again. Awesome. All right, so now I'm apparently supposed to kill all the aliens. I honestly, I hate aiming during this, so I just like to run up to all of them. I just kind of melee them. Is it more effective? I have no clue, but it's just really fun. Oh, I died. And then we just respawn, and we just keep respawning like that. Hey, there's an alien killing you, Dax. I'll save you. <laughs> Jeez. Can't even defend himself in a hallucination. All right, now what? The aliens despawned. Kill the beast within. Um, okay. There's a bunch of monkeys. What the heck? Oh, a cougar just killed me. Okay. Huh? Oh, a panther just mauled me again. Oh, but I can get up from it. Oh, you are so lucky, Pan. Oh, you're so lucky. I was about to just stomp on your freaking neck. Oh, it's Freelander. Oh, nice. A bunch of Freelanders. Oh, okay. And then the Freelander's apparently OP. Dude, this man didn't have a photo of me on his billboard. He deserves to be smacked right in the face. Yeah, here. Smack. You want another smack? Here's another smack. You just smack him in the face so many times. Oh, 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 you're so lucky. You are so lucky. Then I'm supposed to kill my ego. Look, there's a bunch of characters that look like me, and, and I just killed myself. But then there's also characters that look like Dax and Lucha, and I am only going to be killing them, because I 
don't deserve to die. Oh, that's me. Where's the Lucha one? Oh, here's a Dax one. Yeah, die. Yeah, yeah. Dax does not deserve to live. Oh my God, this is funny. It's Dax versus me. Okay, honestly, that's kind of boring. It's a fake me. I'm the real me. Okay, so now I just have to die. That's literally all I have to do. And boom, there we go. I die. And then that allows us to get trip survived. So now we have one more last dose mission to do. All right, here's the last last dose mission right here. BDKD. All right, so we're supposed to get in this vellum right here. Oh, I wanted to run over Lucha, to be honest. Dang it. Well, can I like... Okay, I wanted to land my car on the plane, but I guess it's just not gonna happen. Just save it for another day. All right, we're supposed to apparently hijack this plane right here that's taken off from LSIA. <laughs> what if I land? Oh, I was actually pretty close to landing. Hey, hey, whoa! I failed to hack the cargo plane. I think a little more happened than me failing the hack. Let's see, the Vellum died, Lucha died, I died. More importantly, that's the most important part, I died. Oh, wait, 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 it's my opportunity. Yes, absolutely run over... Okay, I don't know why you spawned over there, because you're just going to get run over again. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, shoot, the plane's already taking off. <laughs> Oops. Yeah, yeah, the plane's already airborne. Um, We have some catching up to do. All right, there we go. We hacked this door, and, you know, we're just going to send it. Okay, so we have to take out a few people that are inside of here. Only a few, not too many people here. All right, so we've made it to the cockpit. So, yeah, we apparently are going to fly this thing. Oh, of course, Freelance is in a box. Well, I wasn't on his billboard. I don't get it. You know, I would like to do some things directly to you not your hallucinating self or whatever but it huh, he bails he bails so I, I can't do anything to him so yeah we just don't care about freelander anymore and we're just gonna land the plane at sandy shores airfield all right let me try to park this hmm i think this is good uh we're looking good right right dax right here let me get the landing gear out right yeah this is good right somewhere like this and then it just takes it from me i was gonna land it perfectly i don't know what you're talking about but whatever oh gosh the cops are on us it's so stupid because like we haven't dealt with the cops literally the entire time and then the final mission out of the first and last of those missions we have to deal with cops it just doesn't make a lot of sense to me oh yeah i don't think i said this we're pretty much all we're doing is just protecting dax right now so you have to take out a bunch of cops all right so dax loaded the truck full of chemicals so we have to enter the truck right here and then we have to make it all the way back to the freak shop all right we've made it back to the freak shop there we go mission passed we got twenty thousand dollars out of that but we also will get our last $100,000 bonus for a total of a first time bonus of $500,000. Oh, and I'm spawning in at Mount Chiliad. Oh, okay. I'm almost naked. That's fantastic. And there we go. There's our last $100,000 bonus, but I still need to do one more full against job. So I have to wait like 15 more minutes in order to start that up. So I'll see you when I'll be able to start that up. Okay. So we can start up another full against job our final full against job. So let's do that. Oh, which one do we get? Oh my God, dude, they really want me to do liquid ice ass. I'm not doing that again. Oh, which one do we get right? No, I don't want to do right off. We did that. That was the first one we did. No duplicates. And it's another liquid. You know what? Screw it. I'm just going to do liquidized assets at this point. You know, they keep giving me duplicates. I'll cave. So my apologies, just in case if you wanted to see, I guess, one of the other two. One of them is the most boring one. So I think it's okay that you don't have to watch me do that one. And then the other one I did when I was able to do whatever I wanted for a certain amount of time. Whenever I did that video, I did that one. So I guess if you've been keeping up with the series, You've seen pretty much all of them except for the most boring one. All right, so we're in here. We're in the grass form again. So just, you need to take out these people. And there's one guy that's here that is so annoying to kill. That guy, that guy. Because of that, because of that. He's just sitting there with an assault shotgun just waiting for me to peer this corner. You know what? Here, you want to shoot me like that? You don't get toes anymore. No toes for you. No hand either. And then he died to a toe shot. Ridiculous. That's the guy that was giving me issues. Really? The guy who dies via toe? All right, so now we have to contaminate the water once again. And then we turn on the irrigation system. And then we should remember from last time to not run into the water that is being sprayed out all over the grass. But Dax forces to. So we're going to to do it again because well dax told us to and now we're seeing pretty colors once again and then pretty much same ordeal we just have to get away from a bunch of clowns and whatever issue is i don't know of a place around here to be honest where i can climb on top and then i can just chill out oh my god oh i found a ladder finally i found a ladder jeez i don't get this location too often i usually get the Polito bay location which today i haven't gotten well i take that back i did get but then i decided against it because i didn't want to duplicate and then i caved but i got the ulta location i 
I never get this location, so. Oh, we're already falling over. Wow, that was actually pretty quick. All right, we're spawning back in. Where do I spawn in? And we spawned in all the way in Sandy Shore. Jeez, we made it a far ways. But there we go, mission pass. That was our final full against job that we had to do. All right, so after doing all those full against jobs and doing the last of those missions, I now have $839,000. But there is still one more thing that I actually can get after completing the last of those missions that I honestly forgot to show you. So let's go check it out. All right, so for doing the last of those missions, we got a first time bonus of $500,000. And during the first of those missions, we also got a first time bonus of $500,000. But we also got the Brickade 6x6 for free. So we didn't have to buy it off of Warstock Cash and Carry and then turn it into an acid lab. We got it for free, so then we could just turn it into an acid lab, which is what we already did. And for the last of those missions, we get a supercar right here. This is supposed to be Dr. Friedmine's Ocelot Virtue, but now it's mine because he ran away. I, I don't even know what happened to him. Anyways, this is our new vehicle. The Ocelot Virtue. Yeah, this is an electric supercar. This vehicle is actually really, really fast. But yeah, not a bad episode today. Completed the last of missions, but we still have a long ways to go before we can actually buy the office building next. Make sure you check out this video right here. If you want to see the top 10 vehicles under $100,000 in GTA Online,